To write the formula for magnesium sulfate heptahydrate, let's split this into two things. First, we need to write the formula for magnesium sulfate, and then we'll do the heptahydrate. So for magnesium sulfate, magnesium, if we look this up on the periodic table, that's Mg. And then sulfate, when you see ATE, it's not going to be on the periodic table. You either memorize that sulfate is SO4 2 minus, or if you're allowed, you can look it up on a table. So sulfate is SO4, and that has a 2 minus charge, and that's on the whole SO4 here. Because we have a metal, magnesium, and then this group of nonmetals, the sulfate ion, this is an ionic compound, and we need to balance the charge. So if you look on the periodic table, magnesium, that's in group 2. That'll have a 2 plus ionic charge. We said the sulfate is 2 minus. Since these two add up to 0, the net charge is 0, this is the formula for magnesium sulfate. Let's look at the heptahydrate. So if we look at this little chart right here, hepta, right here, hepta, that means 7. And you can think of hydrate like being hydrated, having drunk enough water. So heptahydrate means 7 water molecules. So let's write those in. We'll put a dot here and then the 7 water molecules. So that's the formula for magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. If we heat this up, we can make these 7 water molecules. We can make the water molecules leave, and that would just give us MgSO4, magnesium sulfate. Sometimes they'll call that anhydrous magnesium sulfate because there's no water molecules around it. But this is the formula for magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.